What is up everyone? So if you guys haven't noticed in the background of the last couple videos, the overfenders are finally attached to the E36. We cut it up a while ago, didn't put them on for a while. I needed Brian's hands to help me align this thing because trying to do it myself, it just wasn't working. So now that things has over fenders, we can kind of get it squared up on the fitment that I want before we send it off to paint. So still gotta get the stance right. I need a really good alignment because right now the alignment's whack and we still gotta figure out exactly what tire size I can and want to fit underneath this once the alignment is good. But you guys, even, I mean, I haven't heard this thing run in probably six months. And now it's running and she's running great. So if you guys uh, don't know or don't remember, I let one of my good friends actually borrow the ECU for this car for the drift season. And I just never got one back in it. So yesterday I finally got to it. And here she goes, she's purring again. And I honestly cannot wait to try and drive this thing with a little bit more tire in it. I mean, right now it still only has a 245-40 cheap tire and the alignment's really whack. But it still should feel a lot better than how it was. So if you guys don't know this setup, this is a fully built S50 with a precision 6266, 3.0 liter straight six, fully built with uh, well turbo slapped on it. So last time we tuned it was on pump, it made like 550-ish. And then uh, once we put on ethanol, it could probably make upwards of higher sevens, which is crazy to think about. But for now, it's just a dorky little journal bearing precision. I think she does need a G-Series. A G30? Imagine a G30 on this thing. It'd be sick. <laughs> This thing sounds good. This thing sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, you're getting in a lot of trouble with this thing real quick. Just you wait. Just you wait. It honestly looks much cleaner with the over fenders on. I don't know why. Normally when you put overs on a car, it makes it look very incomplete and like the build is like kind of far away, but this, it like works on all right, the Alright, so I was saying, no disrespect to DJ, but I was saying to Jimmy before, like you look at this and you're like, alright, he can get away with it, but if DJ took his S13 on the road right now, you'd be like, Oh, yeah. Get your shit together. <laughs> Bring that thing back to the shop. Don't be disrespectful. But like, no disrespect towards him. It's just like the the view of it. I'm aware. <laughs> what a rubbish. That's all right. Easy. Don't come around this turn. Oh man, I forgot what how fast this car is, dude. It's just gonna blow the tires off. I told oh, you. Yeah. No, we knew it. I mean, it's got yeah. junk ass tires on it. It's got a shit alignment. That's why I'm gonna sit in the back seat for traction. Yeah? Yeah, yeah a little traction. Tony the tuner, and we got yeah. suspension analyst Donald in the back. Inspecting, <laughs> making sure they, all, they everything's good back here. All right, so there's a little piece of trim I gotta trim in the back. Trim it. So you're gonna trim it the old fashioned way. Yeah, we're gonna trim it the old fashioned way. Just keep driving until the noise goes away. There's no shortage of, shortage of oh shit handles back here. It's great, but I can't hold on to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> this has a precision 6266 journer, journer, journal bearing turbo. It's a little bit of a dog. You know, it's not bad, but I can't imagine a G series on this thing. I could. Because <laughs> I could. <laughs> be sick. He was, I love your laugh afterwards. So it's gonna feel slow because it's gonna spin the tires. But we'll see. I mean, it might grip up a if it bit. doesn't spin the tires, it's probably gonna spin the clutch. I'll tell you that. One thing this car really does have though is it sounds fucking awesome. Is that Derek? Yeah, that was Derek. Just but. show him how BMW is supposed to drive. <laughs> so. You ready, Teach? I'm ready. And hold on. Like real sketchy to go over like 50 in this thing right now. Oh my Whoa. That's it, just blows them off. Honestly, driving really nice though. No, it's not bad, yeah. It likes the weather. It's comfy. And hello, hello. <laughs> oh my god. It's useless. Sick. I it think is. we need to turn the boost up to be on it. Goddamn windy out today, though. It's really not that loud. It's like tame. 
something break or what's he doing? So I was just saying how it's like very tame sounding. It's Is not it? that loud to That's be honest. Nice. Yeah, I mean we put like, I think we put an ultra quiet on it and then a big muffler and stuff too. And then obviously the turbo quiet is down a lot. Yeah. It's like, it's funny like if we like kind of float in the second and then yam it, it feels so fast because it grips up a little bit. When we just launch it, it's just spin, 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 which is fun in some yeah. fun way, but whatever. It needs a solid just like, you know, suspension shakedown and brakes, all that stuff. It still feels really awesome. What what do you what numbers are you changing? <laughs> Tony, Tony Tuner. <laughs> have to zero the map out. That would have been bad. But I just want to like the roads obviously are too small right here to like let it just bang in third, but we gotta get this thing on the highway. Once we get the alignment mint, we can then figure out what's the biggest tire we can fit on this thing, and then we could ball on like a really nice compound. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to keep buying like high-end tires if I know I can potentially fit bigger ones on there. So we gotta hit the drag strip in this whole thing. Yeah, be, uh, this car would actually be really fun. This would for be that. dope. This would be really dope. <laughs> Was that tire or clutch? A little bit of you bolt. smell it? Yep, that was clutch. A little bit of <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> well, now you know I can't wait right? to. Oh, it's such clutch. Well, we don't dude. have to wait either. Uh, I, I just kind of plugged third real hard and it just, it was all clutch. Ooh, Didn't like it. That I knew it, dude. I knew, I'm pretty sure this clutch is only rated for like four. Freaking 50. Don't you hate that smell? <laughs> Alright, whatever. This, out of all the cars I have, this is probably the easiest transmission to pull, so. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Just, After all. I just don't want to buy a damn twin disc. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. One giant leap forward, small steps behind. <laughs> <laughs> but in better news, the S15 is officially registered, so I drove it home last night. Look at it. Look at this thing. Blue as heck. Hello blue. I'll tell you what guys, it's fucking slow. <laughs> but it's a blast to drive. <laughs> this thing just wants to go. This drivetrain would be real fun in a drift car. Could make it a drift car. Nah, bam. Man. Imagine it'd be like me and LZ will have like opposites. Exactly. Like kinda cool. No, like literal opposites. Left hand right. drive, right hand drive. Yeah. One J. S50. S50. <laughs> Red? Blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Donnie? I think it'd be great. <laughs> Donnie's just, I was like, I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> My knuckles hurt from holding those damn handles. <laughs> Double fisting these things. You, you, you get a little those. nervous? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was holding it like this the whole time. <laughs> so he still looks kind of dope. Still looks kind of cool. Looks cool. Doesn't look like shit. Yeah. Like, could be worse. No, that's what I'm saying. Doesn't look as much of a project car as I was expecting. Yeah, that's good. It will do. And better news, and something I'm very overly excited about, RJ has finally started the paint correction on the Black Z. I'd love to like film a whole video about it, but I'm gonna just do updates because he's kind of like just jumping in when he has a couple free hours here and there. I'm happy we have this space now so we could do this. I appreciate this so much. I'm so excited he finally has some time to do this because I've been dying to see this thing color corrected so we can get the new front bumper on. I've been dying to throw on. I have a new rear valence for it. I got the side skirts painted, got some rear spats, and uh, it's gonna look amazing. It's like three years in the making to get that damn bumper on and it is going to transform this car. So this car was bad. I wish I took a before video because it looked like this thing was washed with sandpaper. And so far, I mean, look at the rear bumper. Looks absolutely beautiful and he hasn't even polished the thing yet. So can I help you? Thank you. What'd I do? You know. Oh yeah, I love you too. <laughs> Since the JZX100 is just constantly waiting for parts, it's the whole thing. Uh, I figured we'd show some love to another car that's been, well, hasn't seen much lately, and that is the Zanki. I have a mod I've been dying to do to it, and well, today, it just feels like today. So if you guys look at the Zanki headlight, you can tell there's a lot of light diffusion in here, like all these little bars right here, and that's uh, obviously helped disperse the light some. I usually love it. I usually think it gives a really nice OEM look, and it kind of like makes the headlight look a little less busy, really seeing the mm -hmm. inside of it. But for some reason, Zankis look really freaking cool when you get rid of it right here. So as you guys could tell, this is a new lens for the headlight. This is an aftermarket lens and it's all clear. There's no light diffusion in it. Damn. Damn. Those are crystal Yeah, these clear. are crystal. Let me not get my <laughs> fingerprints on here. And uh, what this allows is, well, you really start to see the internal of the headlight. And for some reason on the Zankis, it makes the headlights look like completely different. And this is a common mod on a lot of different headlights. I usually never like it, no. but for some reason on this car, 
Like sometimes it works on S13s. Some, sometimes. sometimes it works on S13s, but usually you're like any, I usually don't like it. It no. usually like kind of makes it look cheap in aftermarket. This, in pictures at least, I think it looks pretty dope. So yes. I bought a set to try it. And sometimes, you know, you break your lens, you can't find another one, right? Yeah. And sometimes they just get like cataracts and you can't see through them like this. So we have this really <laughs> junky set right here that I think if we clean up, replace the lens, will look brand new. I'm dying to see how it looks on this car. So we're gonna take this lens, put it on here today, and hopefully change the look up with the Zanke in a way that we really like. <laughs> if not, we're gonna have these, we'll put them back. Yeah. So. so we need a, uh, a heat gun. Get this thing away from my face. An assortment of flat, flat <laughs> screwdrivers. <laughs> Anything else we can find a good pry stuff with. So, so we're gonna pop these clips off right here. Boom. Two on bottom. Clips are off. Now for the annoying part, right? We gotta heat up all this glue around here and dude, it could really suck. You gotta be careful though because I've done this before. You'll melt the, the whole headlight. The housing? The housing. The like lens. some guys like to put this in the oven. Like literally they'll put them in the oven and kind of like bake them for a while in like a low heat. That works well, but I've definitely melted a couple of set of headlights in my life. The Z tail lights, very common. Melted those things a couple of times. So there you go, Papa. take this and uh, well, Heat her up. Heat her up. Takes a long time. Be patient, because you'll melt these things. Start frying it. I'm going to focus more on the lens, because I don't care if I destroy the lens. Yeah. A few moments later. There we go. There we go. See that? Oof. Here we go. Nice work, nice work. You see all the glue on there? Oh yeah. So look at the inside of it. Got a real cool look to it. Boom. Oh, pockets. This one's actually really nice on the inside. Here we go, boys. So we got both lenses off, and now you can see we just have like the open internal. And this is the point where if you want to add like a projector or something crazy, like people go crazy with headlights. We're gonna keep it simple. Only thing I'm gonna do is they have this little reflective piece right here to kind of disperse the light into the lens. I'm gonna get rid of it. A lot of guys do. It just looks nice here because. With the clear lens, you'll see everything. We're gonna clean this up. Gotta be very careful because on this reflective stuff on the headlight, sometimes it's super, super sensitive and it'll flake right off. So pick your battles on that one, right? Yeah. Sometimes you might have to leave a little dust on so you don't take the, the chrome off. So so we have our, these are Circuit Sport, by the way, I never said the brand. Uh, so the OEM lens, it kind of slips into this lip right here. Yeah. So it kind of slips into it. This has a flat edge to it. I don't know if you can tell. So it doesn't actually slip in. It sits on top, just like this. So I was hoping it would slip in because it'd be easier to glue in. So we're just gonna send it on top. Tony got black adhesive sealant. We're gonna use it. You're doing great. Splat. Okay, we gotta line it up mint first try or else we're screwed. There it is. There it is. Clamps. Yeah, there we go. That looks spectacular. Thanks, Donnie. Check it out. I think it's gonna seal pretty good. This is where you get a clamp. This is where you get a clamp. Shit. Where did I find one of clamp, those? Clamp, clamp, Donnie, clamp! <laughs> look at it. It looks, doesn't this look, you can't tell me this doesn't look way bigger. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? It's gonna look hot. It's gonna look hot. The second lens wasn't as forgiving. I think I kind of distorted the housing a little bit from using so much heat and so much force. So the zip ties and some rags, hold it nice and taut. Let it cure, we'll be good to go. Going to talk to me in our studios uh, to show the difference. The lighting in here is really nice. So, factory diffuse, clear lens. Honestly, the clear lens, and I said it before, looks really cool in photograph or like on film, right? That actually looks super dope to the camera. In person, I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little on the cheaper side, which is usually why I don't like clear lenses because it kind of makes them look like eBay knockoff. You know, I'm excited to see them like on the car. I think they're gonna look dope. On exactly. The car. So, this silicone <laughs> is having a hard time drying. So, I'm gonna wait. A little bit longer so I could at least mock one up so we could see it for the video. Ah oh, man, that looks super cool on camera. Hmm. I like that a lot better. I was today years old when I found out that USDM headlights and JDM headlights are different. Do you know this tone? I did not. Where did we get these headlights from? That's Tommy's front clip. So those are just right. so JDM you, front. You, you could have told us that, Steve. Yeah, I would have told you. You withholding right. information from us now? Yeah. Looks good with the bulb in it. So look at look at. All right. This, so maybe. 
Look how much, first off, there's a level on this one. You see the level? Yeah. That's pretty gangster. You can build a brick wall with that. Yep. Glue the silk glue still, still wet. It's all right. This ain't not going nowhere. But look at the top. Ready? Top of them are different. The, the, the level, right? Side marker mount, just not there. Oh, it broke off. Oh. Ew. So we you, never noticed that. So you put it on one oh, my God. We did this so quick that I never even checked to think for that. Okay. That's not a big deal. I can make something. Yeah. There's um, a lot more leveling action on the yep. USDM because look how small and petite these are. It's like they shaved them. They shaved them. And then look at, look how small this one is. And look how big this one is. Someone had to like. Are they going to line up the same way? That's the question. Uh, I hope they, yeah, they'll fit. I'm just a little upset about the, the side marker tab being broken. Yeah, we can just. We can do some zip tie already. But this card deserves better. I'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Get a, get a couple new ones. Get a couple new ones. I'm gonna need more, Steve. What was there? I put gave you about 800 bucks. I need some walk around cash. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go. I need some walk around money. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Steve. Hey, you're welcome. Talk to me nice. Ah, no, this looks so cool. It does look cool, and I haven't looked from the front yet. <laughs> That's gonna sit the damn hood. <laughs> Tony's like, shut up and get to it already. Let's take a science, let's see how this looks. See? It looks pretty cool though. I don't know, dude. Like, I see it online and I love it. I think it looks super cool on a lot of cars, but I don't know if it's for me. Quite honestly, I haven't got a good look at it. Yeah, back up, back up. You know what? They're definitely clear, but like, why don't they look that much different? They do look a lot different. I don't know, dude. I feel like the car needs to be like kitted and stuff to like pull that off. I you think know, it's the front bumper. You know what it is? It clashes, right? Because it has such like an OEM style to it. Like it even has like the OEM uh, orange markers and everything on it. Hit it out with the clear turn signals and okay. bumper lights. Plays off the whole aftermarket look really good. Exactly. When it comes to like the OEM look yeah. or OEM plus, it clashes. It really does. I had to do it because I would have never, I would have never not thought about it until no, I did yeah. it. So I'm happy I did it. Kind of. Learn something new. <laughs> you learned something new. You know what I really need to do? Steal those glass headlights off a of Rudnick off his drift car. Exactly. <laughs> Talk to me nice, Rudnick, before you break those things. Eh, whatever. So everyone go spam Rudnick. What was that? Everyone go spam Rudnick. Sell me those headlights. Sell them them headlights. <laughs> Donald's! James! Uh, I need your opinion. Fellow Zanke owner. Let's hear it. Watch your head. Come look at the headlights. Also, Brian, you're kind of low-key a Zanke owner because you drifted a whole, uh, like, two seasons in one. Yeah, no, I've spent a lot of seat time in Zankies. You've worked on a Zanke more than 90% of Zanke owners. <laughs> That's probably true. Dude, this thing looks so cool at night. Like, the blue just... They should call it Blue Dream. It looks yeah. so dope at night. Blue! Oh, uh, man, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> um, back there, I was like, eh, no, I want to like it. it. Up here, hate it. Damn. But you're right. On Josh's car, on like a fully kitted car, yeah, pull it off. But I, I really want the side markers to match, and they don't. If they did, that would be, that would change a lot. I don't. I not don't. for this car. Well, I'm not saying it looks better. I'm just saying it doesn't look. It's not on optimal this, on this car. On this car. Yeah. Okay. okay we talked enough about it. All right. Make your own opinions. If you had a Zanke, uh, decide for yourself. Right. Yo, like, I'm the last guy that's, like, respect all builds. Like, honestly, if people have shitty builds, you should trash them. But, like, I get why they make these. <laughs> Brian F, yeah? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I get, like, why they make these. For and, sure. Like, if you had matching ones and you just wanted to have a different look, like, I kind of respect that. I respect it. It's you know just what not I mean? for me. Exactly. Like, I like this better, but I, I, I do respect that. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying it's not, not this car. Hmm. I don't know, dude. The more I stare at it, like the more I like it. It's driving me nuts. I think if I got all clear lights, corner and everything, it would honestly look pretty, pretty freaking cool. Make the opinion for yourself. We talk about it quite a bit, but uh, I'm gonna, I might order the lights first before I fully give those things away. So, <sighs> it's gonna drive me nuts. Either way, if you got a Zanke, here's a quick DIY. It's not really that hard. It's a little scary because. You could kind of damage your housing, but it's really not that hard. So RJ has officially got the Black Z fully cut, right? So he got all the big stuff out of it. It is looking really good in here, considering the light is pretty dim in here, but the Z is looking fantastic. This car, the paint at least, has gotten really hurt 
over the last few years of it just being kind of like pushed around the shop and just being dry dusted off. And I didn't want to put the freshly painted parts on until the rest of the color was corrected or else it just would have never worked right. So, so tomorrow he's going to polish it. We're going to put the kit on and uh, it's going to look like a whole new car. And uh, I am actually really, really excited for it. So for now though, I've got a lot to edit, got a lot to do and I'm going to end it. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly. Baby.